Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. Uh, and, well, we got this uh, interesting article here from CCN. Not been here before. As opposed to CNN. I'm sure this uh, CCN is a lot better. <laughs> um, so Lyft founders conspire to take control of the seven and a half billion Uber competitor. <laughs> Good luck. All right, so the two founders, a car hailing giant and Uber competitor Lyft, are working on keeping control of the company. So let's let's take a look at this. That looks like the My Pillow guy. The founders of Lyft, John Zimmer and Logan Green, are working on a plan to retain control of the company after it goes public. Okay, so who are they talking about? Lyft or Uber? They will do this by creating a special class of stock that gives the holders super voting rights. The votes will allow the CEO and president to have flat control. Exact details haven't yet been made public. Lyft, who, the, Lyft whose value jumped to $7.5 billion after raising an additional $600 million last June, has raised four and a half billion since its founding. Uh, so, Class F super voting shares. Super voting is a growing trend in Silicon Valley startups. It enables the founders to retain control of their companies even after going public. Formally, so in case you're wondering, some companies what they'll do uh, when they do a takeover of another company, they wind up like buying all of their stock. Uh, that pretty much gives them all of the ownership of a company pretty much formally the decisions and actions of the companies were subject to some form of democratic control notably the world's biggest tech company uh democratic uh different uh like voting not as in democrat and republican <laughs> uh, amazon.com has no such structure billionaire jeff bezos retains great voting power uh, and so does uh, Facebook CEO. Man, I can't think of his name, but you know who I'm talking about. By owning a large amount of stock, uh, his actual voting power outsizes most other common holders. However, institutional funds hold more than half the company's shares. So the Class F founders stock structure is a more recent phenomenon and public companies. Amazon went public during the dot-com. What? Blah, blah, blah. Let's get into uh, stuff with Lyft here. Um, investing without influence. One share, one vote. Well, this really has no information about Lyft. Now, does it? Lyft founders conspire to take control of the Uber competitor. Well, at least you get an idea. Uh, yep, 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 you sure do. At least you're getting an idea of what Lyft is hoping to do. So Uber is going to be going... They've been planning on going public for a while. I remember uh, reading about that. They are working on a plan to retain control... No, Lyft is going public. So, well, this is all backwards. <laughs> um, okay, I think these are more entertaining. <laughs> so votes are stackable, like Delhi? Of course, they stole on drivers. Isn't this inside trading? Isn't this illegal? Sorry, but Lyft is not a competitor. Nah, they're a competitor. I see a lot of Lyft uh, vehicles where, where I live. Um, Uber is a $20 billion company competitor, but I still click to read more. <laughs> 
I feel it's truly g degenerous that a founder thinks that there is no, uh, no other human on earth capable enough or smart enough to continue growing the company post IPO, et cetera, et cetera. Well, anyway, I'm not going to read this whole thing, but let me know. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, do you think Lyft is a fair competitor to Uber? Um, do you think they have the ability to take over uh, Uber? Should they? Um, competition is always a good thing. Um, what would you think about, about this? Maybe you drive for Lyft. Maybe you drive for Uber. Um, let me know. Let me know what you think about this. And uh, I have other rambling videos on this uh, show. And hope you check them out. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. Subscribe, please. And I will see you on another rambling video.